the universe itself? Well, the answer is clear. The James Webb Telescope has recently recorded a series of puzzling discoveries that challenge conventional cosmology. But what groundbreaking insights can be drawn from these seemingly impossible structures? Are our assumptions about the age and origins of the cosmos still valid? Or must we now admit that we've been on the wrong astronomical path for decades? The exploration of the universe is subject to constant shifts, and these changes have led to many fascinating developments over time. Just think of the worldview held by our distant ancestors, who firmly believed that Earth was the center of the universe, around which all other celestial bodies revolved. Well, it's certainly possible to be wrong. Today, of course, we know that our earthly home is just a tiny piece in a massive cosmic puzzle, one we haven't fully deciphered yet. And it seems that with every new discovery, a few more internal barriers must be overcome. Want an example? Although Edwin Hubble had observed that nearly all galaxies were moving away from us, Albert Einstein held so tightly to his vision of a static unchanging universe that he added the cosmological constant to his field equations. Looking back, Einstein later admitted his mistake, calling it the greatest blunder of his life. Meanwhile, the galaxy movements identified by Hubble were directly related to the relentless expansion of the cosmos. According to current understanding, this expansion process began around 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. Contrary to early beliefs, however, this expansion doesn't represent a huge explosion into pre-existing space. Instead, space itself expanded rapidly from an initial singularity. And with it, matter and time emerged from this tiny, hot starting point. But how can we know this today? By retracing the steps of this development, it's possible to calculate a point where the density of matter and energy becomes infinite, and all spatial distances become zero. Another key piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory is the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation. This relic from the time shortly after the universe's creation is nearly isotropic and fills the cosmos. So far, so widely accepted. But how do we handle discoveries that seemingly cannot be reconciled with the Big Bang Theory and the conclusions based on it? The cosmological consensus is that the first stars formed 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, and that the first galaxies were small and underdeveloped. After all, there wasn't enough regular matter back then to form fully developed galactic giants, at least in theory. But since the universe doesn't seem particularly interested in our models, the James Webb Telescope recently detected something that, strictly speaking, shouldn't exist. Impossible galaxies. Astrophysicist Evo Lab and his team at Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne analyzed images from the near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, as part of the early release program of the James Webb Telescope. These images showed a section of the sky near the Big Dipper, which is considered part of the dawn of the universe. It didn't take long for La and his colleagues to realize they had made a remarkable discovery. He described the reaction as follows. I ran the analysis software, and it gave me two numbers, distance, 13.1 billion years in mass. 100 billion stars. I almost spit out my coffee. We had just discovered the impossible. Galaxies that were impossibly early and impossibly massive. Why did the expert throw the word impossible around so much? To explain the existence of these galaxies, 
either the density of matter in the young universe would have to be two to five times higher than our models predict, or the galaxies would have had to form in a way entirely unknown to us. Either way, scientists find themselves in a major dilemma. Both scenarios require a significant shift in our understanding of the cosmos. So far, scientists have been unable to provide a clear explanation for this unexpected discovery. What's certain is that 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, six galaxies already existed with 10 billion, and in one case, even 100 billion, solar masses of stars, making them comparable to our Milky Way today. Given this, it's no wonder these objects have been dubbed Universe Breakers by the research team. The discovery raises serious questions about previously accepted scientific truths. The mass of stars during this early phase of the universe is up to 100 times greater than old models suggest. Until now, cosmologists have assumed that galaxies began as small clouds of stars and dust that slowly grew larger. But is it possible that this isn't the only way stellar groups can form? This discovery adds to the perplexity of experts, and the mystery remains unsolved. And the next discovery by the James Webb Telescope makes it even clearer why solving this mystery is so crucial. The $10 billion device recently identified another record holder and added yet another enigma to the cosmic charts. Researchers at the Scuola Norma Superior in Pisa identified Jade's GSC 140 as the oldest known galaxy. The data reveal that this gravitationally bound collection of stars formed 290 million years after the universe's birth. But there's more. It likely took around 100 million years for this galaxy to grow to its observed size. And again, instead of a faint baby galaxy as predicted by current models, the researchers found a structure containing several hundred million solar masses of stars. Once again, the question arises, how could such a bright and massive galaxy have formed in less than 300 million years? Furthermore, why did further analysis reveal that this galaxy's spectrum contains oxygen and hydrogen emission lines? These facts indicate that several generations of massive stars had already lived and died by the time experts observed this galaxy. So, many questions remain, but are there answers? Despite the ongoing mysteries, some solutions are coming into focus. For instance, how light emerged in the early universe. Around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, during the so-called Dark Ages, there were no galaxies, no stars, and therefore no light. The universe was filled with a thick fog of hydrogen gas. Roughly 100 million years later, a process called reionization began, ionizing the hydrogen and making the universe transparent again. This process was largely due to the first very energetic stars that knocked electrons out of hydrogen atoms. But this is where things get tricky. For decades, scientists debated where the photons that lit up the cosmos came from. Some theories suggested black holes played a role, but now, the Webb Telescope has shed light on the source of this radiation. An international research team discovered that small dwarf galaxies likely produced vast amounts of high-energy radiation. Using Webb's NIR-SPEC and NIR-CHEM instruments, researchers traced this astronomical trail as part of the Uncover program. However, making the light from distant galaxies visible sometimes requires a clever trick, gravitational lensing. This effect bends light around massive objects, making faint galaxies visible. 
In the case of this discovery, eight faint galaxies were made visible through the gravitational lens of the galaxy cluster ABEL 2744. Although these galaxies are 100 times dimmer than the Milky Way, spectroscopic analysis showed they emitted four times more radiation than expected. As a result, astronomers were thrilled to announce they had finally identified the elusive photon source that illuminated the universe. However, it's important to note that these eight galaxies alone weren't responsible for reionizing the universe. They serve as representatives of the many low-mass cosmic powerhouses that, collectively, change the state of the entire universe. And just like that, you too can change the state of the subscription button with just one click. Join our community now and never miss an exciting video again.